In this video, I'm going to show you the best way to work with cheats with the latest 3DS iPhone emulator, Folium. The Folium 1.4 update just hit the App Store, and with it comes proper cheats management in the UI. While the update supports managing cheats in the UI, you must add your own cheat files manually. Let's get started by downloading a few cheat files from my favorite cheats repo on GitHub. I'm going to use Google Chrome and search up 3DS Cheats. Scroll down until you see the CTRPF AR Cheat Codes GitHub repo, and then tap through to browse the repo. Every folder in this repo is named after a 3DS game and contains a cheat code text file for that game. First, I'm going to scroll down to New Super Mario Bros. 2. Tap on the folder of the game and you'll see the cheats text file inside. Then tap on the text file and you'll see the contents of the cheats. Tap the three dots in the corner of the file and and then tap download to download the text file. Then tap download in your browser if you get a prompt, then tap open in to move the file where it needs to go. Scroll down until you see save to files and then tap that to open the file explorer. Navigate to the on my iPhone folder and then look for the folium directory, then open it. Next, open the citrus directory, then open the cheats folder, then tap save to save the cheats file. Let's hit back twice and download one more cheat file. This time we're looking for Pokemon Omega Ruby. Scroll down until you see the game that you're looking for. Then tap through to the cheat file and then tap into the cheat file. Once again, we'll click the three dots, tap download, confirm the download, save to files, and then hit save. Now that we've got our cheat files saved in the right spot, we can launch Folium and begin to manage our cheats. Launch the Folium app and then tap the three dots on the game you want to manage cheats for. Tap the cheats option and now you'll see a list of all the cheats contained in the file we downloaded for that game. Let's try one of these out. Tap the red icon next to the cheat to enable the cheat. Tap the game to launch and let's see if this cheat is working. When we load into a level, we can see that Mario starts with the Tanuki suit, which means the cheat is working. I love this cheat. You get to keep the Tanuki suit even when you run into an enemy mob. It's a blast. Let's tap the settings icon and select stop and exit and confirm stop and exit to go back to the Folium home screen. Let's check out another scenario, this time with Pokemon Omega Ruby. Take note. With this cheats file, you'll notice cheats for version 1.4 and for version 1.0. Since Folium doesn't support game updates at this time, you'll want to only activate cheats for 1.0. If the cheat doesn't indicate which version, you can assume 1.0. With Pokemon games, some of the cheats require special conditions in the game to work. So if you're trying a cheat and it isn't obvious how it works, read up on how that specific cheat works before giving up on it. Now, what do you do if you want a cheat that wasn't in the list of cheats? In this case, let's say an outline remover cheat. Well, if you know the cheat or you can find it elsewhere, you can add it to the text file manually. Let's do that now. I've copied the text for the outline remover cheat and now I'm going to paste it into the text file for the cheat. Let's use the runestone app free on the App Store for modifying the text file and open the title ID for the game you want to modify. For Omega Ruby, it's the file that ends in 400. Add a few line breaks and use the square brackets to give your cheat a title. I'll call this one Outline Remover. Then paste in the cheat code right below the title text. Then tap Done to save the file. Now let's launch Folium and try out our newly added cheat. Once again, tap the three dots on the game, tap Cheats, then tap the cheat we just added to activate it. Hit cancel and then launch the game. Now, when we're in a battle, you'll see that the outlines around the Pokemon are gone. If we stop and exit and then disable the cheat and relaunch, you'll see that the outlines are now back. That's all for Cheats in Folium. I hope you enjoy the new update and happy cheating.